Today's candy spot, we're having a look. Kind of looks like it says Atari, but we're today, today we're having a look at Hi Chu. This is a Japanese exclusive candy. There's a, on the front, there's a strawberry floating in water. Maybe it's lava. I don't, I don't know. But being that this is a Japanese exclusive item, this is available only in Japan. It is also available on a, from an eBay seller. Down, I'll provide down the link down below there. If you guys are interested and you want to try some exotic Japanese exclusive items, definitely click the link down below and you can check that out yourself. It is new, and also indicated it's new, exclamation mark, lines, bottom, lines, top. That means it's really, really new. I guess this comes to us from the good folks at Marin, Marin, Mariniga, Mariniga, let's try it, Mariniga, sure, sounds good. Anything on the back? Nothing of which Spot can read. So... That's pretty much, that in the nutshell is going to be the review. Thanks for watching, guys. No, I'm, don't worry, I'm going to open this up. I'm going to try this too. Far be for a spot just to talk about the package and not get to anything else. And everybody's like, well, what's he doing? Is he actually going to open it up? I, I got my cereal here in my hand. I uh, told my mom I'd do the homework later because Spot's got a review up and he's not going to actually open it. What kind of reviewer is this guy? He's not even going to open up the candy. He's just going to talk about the package and say that the strawberry's floating in water or some sort of clear liquid. I mean, I don't even really know where he's going with that. And then he starts talking about how the thing, the new, has lines on it. Like, I, I really don't know where he's going. Uh, don't worry, Spots. Spots already opened up the candy. It, uh, it kind of loses something on the appeal factor. It doesn't have the wow factor as, as it should. It kind of just looks like a big blob of uh, nougat. Yeah. Let's give this a try, though. But there it is right there. It almost looks like it's got something on the inside. Not something I think I could probably... Oh! No, it's some, nothing inside. There might have been something inside. Spot just crushed it, along with the hopes and dreams of many. Let's give this a try, though. The High Chew. And I guess like, it's strawberry flavored. There are other flavors available as well. Let's give this a try. It's not bad. It's actually not bad. It kind of reminds me, if anybody grew up in the 80s, it kind of reminds me of Bonkers. Remember Bonkers bonks you out? It's a little more subtle. Like it, it kind of tastes like a Starburst, but just with not as much flavor to it. It's more of a subtle strawberry, which you can let me know down below if that's a good thing or bad. If you kind of like just a subtle, subtle trace of strawberry in the consistency of a Starburst or Bonkers, then this probably would be ideal for you. Not bad. Not bad at all. Today's candy spot, we're having a look at High Chew. Bless you. Thanks for watching, guys. Certainly stick around. More candy spots are heading your way. I'll see you guys next time. For a thousand videos, now that's dedication. It's more than a video, that's a creation that he is making. From experience, here he is. You're curious of what his appearance is. Serious, yet he makes it fun to watch. A lot of reviewers are delirious. While some get props, when the demand is hot, the spot's not a man to flop. Respects the fans who watch, couldn't guess the next random spot. The spot army is now taking over. This is our spot. Sitting on top, the spot army is now taking over. I bet you're confused. Check the reviews. The spot army is now taking over. This is our spot. Sitting on top, the spot army is now taking over. I bet you're confused.